Hello everyone, Okianski here, and today I have a new tutorial on how to do a camera bobble effect uh, when a player walks. This is a nice little addition to add to your game to help it uh, come to life a little bit. Uh, let's get right into it. To do this effect, we're just going to need one local script, and we're going to place it inside the starter character scripts, and it's going to load every time a character loads. So I'm going to place a local script inside there, and I'm going to call it camera bobble okay okay so the first thing that I'm going to get uh, at the top of my script is the run service local run service equals game get service run service this is gonna allow us to uh, run something every single frame uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is since this is a character script I'm going to get the character by doing character equals script dot parent. And then to get the humanoid, we'll do local humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid. Humanoid is where we'll be accessing the camera offset off of the humanoid. And uh, we use wait for child uh, so we don't get any errors um, by trying to index it before it actually exists. Okay, so it's just one function that we need to write. I'm going to call it function update bobble effect. Then we go ahead and um, make a function right there. And for now, we'll just do print. Uh, we'll just print something. We'll print the letter A. And just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to do run service dot render stepped. So every, every render step or every frame on the server, we're going to connect that with our update bobble effect. And you'll see in the output that is actually uh, printing A about 30 times every second. Okay, so um, inside of this function, I'm going to get the current time, which is going to be useful for um, figuring out where in in the camera bobble because it actually has to bobble from one side to the other and so it's gonna be different at different times so we need to get the time right off the bat so I'm gonna do local um, current time equals tick now what tick does is uh, it gets uh, the current it's called an epoch timestamp and it's just the uh, number of seconds that the uh, computer currently has uh, loaded. So if I actually do print um, current time and we load it again, and this is what computers use to um, actually tell what time it is, by the way. Um, fun fact, this is actually the amount of seconds since January 1st of 1970, 1 1.5 billion seconds. As you can see, every second it's going to go up by one, so 34, 35, 36, and every little decimal in between that it can count. So that's going to be useful. Um, now, um, we need to tell if the player is walking or not, because we don't want to bobble all the time. So we're going to do if humanoid dot move direction dot magnitude. Remember, magnitude is the distance from zero. So if the current, if the player is not walking, it will be zero. If he is walking, it will be greater than zero, regardless of where he's walking. So if it's greater than zero, then we are walking. Else, we are not walking. Okay. So uh, in the event that we are walking, we're gonna uh, run some variables to get uh, the bobble. So I'm going to do local uh, bobble. We're going to bobble in two directions. We're going to bobble uh, along the x-axis from side to side. And then we're going to bobble uh, along the y-axis uh, up and down. So let's do bobble x equals. Now uh, for the x-axis, I'm going to use a trigonometric function called math.cosine. And what math.cosine is, if I open up a graphing calculator that I have opened, it's a, here I put y equals cosine x, 
and it's just a really infinite squiggle and what's going to happen is uh, when it's at the top the camera is going to be all the way to the right and as it moves across the camera is going to move from from the right to the left back to the right and um, keeping tr track of this uh, squiggle is going to kind of run the math as to uh, tell where the camera is going to be along the axis um, so we're going to do math that cosine we're going to use the current time so um, along the x-axis is time and, uh, and in seconds and that will move the camera so right now as it is it's gonna do after one second which is this is two right here so right here is one after one second it's gonna move it this much so that obviously isn't enough so I'm gonna multiply this by 10 oops now what we've got is if we look at 10 seconds now every second it's gonna do go from right to left to right to left and then start to go back to right so it's gonna do one full motion and then a half that is uh, the default value that I'm gonna put there you can change that if you want if you want it to be a faster bobble you'll set this to be higher if you want it to be a lower bobble uh, you'll set it to lower if you want exactly one if you want exactly one period per second, instead of doing 10, you would do math.pi. I'm sorry, you would do math.pi times 2. Alright, and then um, this bobble uh, only goes from negative 1 to 1, and obviously one stud really isn't enough. So, um, I'm sorry, it's a little too much. So we're actually going to go ahead and multiply it by, um, this is, so this number right here is going to be the amount it bobbles. This is going to be the speed. Remember I said, um, higher, faster, lower, uh, slower. This one's going to be the distance. Uh, I like to set it at 0.25 for a subtle effect. If you want to make it, um, a little bit more noticeable, we can put it at 0 0.5, 0 0.6, uh, after one, if you set it to one, it's going to get pretty hard. And then two or higher is just earthquake. So now let's do um, bobble y, which is pretty similar. We're going to do math.sign, which is uh, similar, but it's offset of cosine a little bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a new a line just to show you what sine looks like. So, um, for the blue line here, sign, we're going to move the camera up and down. So when at the top, it's going to be all the way up. And at the bottom, it's actually going to be all the way down. Um, it's offset off of here just a little bit. So it kind of it's going to kind of go in a circle. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, do the same thing now. Or I'm sorry, current time times... Um, 10 times 0.25. I'm going to use the same numbers. And um, we're actually going to go ahead and do math.absolute value on this. So now what this is going to do is we don't actually want the camera to go down. We actually want it to bobble. We want it to bounce. So if I do, if I add absolute value bars to this, you'll see that the y-axis actually bounces now. So what I've done is I've done math out sign. I just did that right off the bat, got that out of the way. And now I'm going to do absolute value, which get rid of, gets rid of all the negative values and turns them into positive. So we're going to get like a little bounce. OK, so now we've got our two bobbles. Now to actually put those two bobbles together and make the actual bobble, we'll do local bobble equals vector 3 dot new bobble x bobble y and then zero for z because we don't need anything for that and then what you do is you do humanoid dot camera offset equals 
And now uh, right here, what you could do is you could just leave it at bobble and that would be perfectly fine. However, it's going to cut as soon as you start walking, it's going to like cut to the bobble and you don't want it, you don't really want that. Uh, you'd rather have it a little bit smoother, a smooth transition into the bobble. So um, what you can do is you can do humanoid.camera offset and then you can use the lerp function which stands for linear interpolation and then you insert the bobble that you want to interpolate and then you put the percentage or anywhere from 0 to 1 I'm gonna leave it at 0.25 that's a good number to use uh, the percentage that you want to interpolate each frame all right, and that's it for that bobble. Now, if we're not walking, all we want to do is just bring is bring that camera uh, back from being bobbled back to its normal position in a smooth way. So I'm going to do humanoid. That can you don't need to do uh, lerping for this uh, for this for going back. Humanoid camera offset. So we're just going to set we're just going to take the camera offset and just multiply it by 0.75 or 0.8 whatever uh, you can mess around with these numbers of course and that should be it for the entire script so let's go ahead and run it and let's see what happens oops I misspelled something I've got an A in camera offset Now let's move. Yep, I have a little bit of a bobble. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because I have it on a low setting. So I'll go ahead and increase these numbers. I'll set this to one just to show you that that big earthquake type deal. Yeah, see that's a that's a huge bobble right there. Uh, I'll go ahead and increase the speed as well, so you can see that the speed is actually variable. Uh, let's set it to let's just triple it, set it to thirty, and that'll make it go real fast. It'll do thirty seconds of each of each function in one second if you set the thirty. So yeah, real real, real earthquake type bowel. Uh Let's go ahead and set that back down to ten. And set this to like 0.6. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens when you take off. I'll set this back to one so you can, so it's easier to see what happens if you take off absolute value. So if we take away that that bounce, that uh, changing negatives into positives, and you'll see why it actually is important. See so now we don't actually have a bobble anymore. We have a spiral. We have a circle. So um, it kind of goes, the y-axis goes like up and then down, up and then down. It doesn't, it doesn't bounce. It goes into the negatives, so it creates a little circle. That's what, um, that's what math.abs did. That's the difference it made. Uh, and then other than that, um, if you actually take this off and just put bobble, it's going to cut. Um, what are some other things you can change? Uh, you can change how fast the um, camera goes back to being normal. If you set this to a higher number, higher to 1, like 0.9, it'll do it slower. If you set it lower, it'll do it faster. But I'm going to leave it at 0.75. Um, and that's it. That's the whole script. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new, maybe about um, functions, maybe about um, lerping, maybe about anything in here. Um, if you guys want more tutorials, be sure to uh, like so I can uh, stay alive because I need likes to live. And uh, until next time, that's all I have. See you guys next time. Peace.